our island asks a great deal of our protectors. Three years ago, our administration made it our sworn mission to make Guam safer. And we know it is our sacred responsibility to ensure that those who secure us have the resources they need to carry out their service on our behalf. But we also needed to address the sobering fact that many of our officers, even new hires, were leaving us. The governor and I could not imagine how it was that a law enforcement officer, a police officer training, would be going out there on behalf of all of us, sacrificing their lives day in and day out for not much more than $11 an hour. What a shame. How could we expect Guam's finest across the law enforcement agencies to go in and do their best for the people when the government wasn't doing the best for them? We knew then it was our responsibility to raise the bar of our island's public safety by raising law enforcement morale. Exactly one month ago, I signed an executive order establishing a law enforcement pay scale with the Competitive Wage Act pay plan. We implemented an 18% pay increase and for the first time in more than eight years today, our law enforcement officers are seeing the reflection of their valid service and sacrifice in their paycheck. When our police officers, firefighters, customs agents, correction officers, and other crime fighters respond to their radio alerts, they are running toward danger while others are running away. You all are real life heroes to our island and to me. Thank you for being that someone. Thank you for keeping us safe and our island secure. On behalf of our administration, we thank you and your families for your extraordinary service and sacrifice. We thank you for being our light in the dark.